Indeed. Well, joining me now is Julian Assange's lawyer, Mark Stevens. What does this tell you about what the American investigators are going after? I mean, they presumably suspect there is some communication in private messages on Twitter uh, between WikiLeaks uh, and Bradley Manning or whoever else was supplying this material saying, you know, here's, where's the material or, you know, some sort of procurement. Yeah, I mean, what this is is really an attempt to intimidate. You've got the Department of Justice, US Department of Justice, really trying to intimidate people who are working at WikiLeaks, who have been supportive of WikiLeaks over the period of time. If there had been a charge, if Julian Assange had broken the law, you can bet your bottom dollar that in the last six months it would have been preferred by now. He hasn't. It's quite clear that he hasn't broken any uh, American law as it is currently framed. And so what they're doing is they're going around hoovering up information in the hope that they can shake this electronic tree and some criminal charge will drop out. And how, how wide is that hoovering? I mean, do we know? Oh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, uh, the, the four people are named is just the tip of the iceberg because you then get into all of their telephony records, their bank records. But, of course, it, the intimidatory bit that the Department of Justice are playing here, they're not playing lawyers, they're playing intimidators, they're bullies. What's happening is that 634,000 people who follow WikiLeaks, their information is being given to the Department of Justice. So they can get my data too? Your, your, your data, my data. And on the way to the studio, I understand that as a uh, has been served on Skype. Now, Brigitte, uh, the MP from Iceland, who you had on Skype just a moment ago, that information that we have just seen on the television will be made available, plus all of her personal data about uh, where she pays her bills, uh, what credit cards she pays her bills on, all of that information will be made available. Now, this is a really worrying development because what uh, the US government is trying to do is to intimidate the relationship between a journalist and their source. And that's the real vice here. Isn't there a, I mean, isn't there an irony, though, about an organisation that Absolutely campaigns for freedom of information and says, well, you know, we, we want to expose the, uh, the secret communications between the American diplomatic service and all its, all its allies and, and, and other people, but then complains when it's private records about... Twitter and Skype and everything else. Christian, I, know really you have to, I know you have to ask the question, but the reality is, as you know, every journalist in the country gets information from sources. That's, why, that's how we get our news, um, if we want just going to recycle press releases. So what actually happens is that journalists get information. Invariably, that information is confidential or classified, and for years we have reported it. What we're seeing here is an attempt to go for people's personal data, and WikiLeaks is talking about corruption, misfeasance in the public office, all of those kinds of things. It's not talking about an individual's credit cards, their telephone call to granny. This is overbroad in its scope. It's not actually even trying to identify communications between people that they suspect might have committed an offence or they want to nail. But, but if, if Julian Assange is so convinced he's done nothing wrong, then he, I mean, he could stop the sort of the hoovering up by just volunteering all his data and being as transparent um, with his you know, private records as he expects everyone else to be. Well, I think that we have to work within the frame of law. And what the frame of law is, that, they're, that law enforcement are entitled to a reasonable amount of information. What they're getting here is far more material. And you, as a journalist, will, will be worried, or should be worried, that, for example, other sources' information will also... Uh, come out in this Hoover. So it won't process. just pertain to WikiLeaks. It, it'll no. be. It could be it's, anything else that's it's, on there. It's, it's massive. It's hugely wide. And so the material that you and I have posted uh, on Facebook, if we'd put anything on the WikiLeaks wall, for example, or on Bogita's wall, uh, or Julian Assange's wall, any of that stuff uh, would be. Uh, now susceptible to examination and, of course, the details of, of who, when and where, co which computers were used. Uh, and it's just mind-boggling the amount of information the Americans are after here. Mark Stevens, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks. Well, for more on Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and those thousands of classified documents that have been published, do go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news.